Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to talk about the Dark Power Pro 1300 watt power supply from Be Quiet. So the Dark Power Pro 13. Okay, it's a 1300 watt power supply. It's got one of the biggest boxes I've ever seen a power supply come in. So that's that's a thing. Uh, we're going to see why uh, this is such a powerful power supply and what you're getting for the dollar. Okay, I'm not sure what the price of this is. It was sent to me from Be Quiet, but we're going to have a look at all the different cables and the actual size of the power supply itself and see what we get because it's the heart of your system other than the CPU. That's what keeps everything going. Uh, and with new graphics cards, you need new cables to keep up. This one has it. Let's have a look. So as you can see, it's a big box. Here's my hand. There's another one. It still keeps on going. There's my entire arm almost. So we're going to open it up. We're going to see what's inside, see why it's in such a massive box. And we're going to go from there. So I'm going to cut this plastic off first and we'll have a look inside. So one thing I'll say before getting this out of the box is this is an 80 plus titanium. So this is the king of the hill. This is one of the best power supplies other than being more wattage, which you can probably get as well, that you would want for your system. So we're going to continue here. So I want to start off about all of the power that it's going to provide. Okay, total power, 1300 watts. So this is all your breakdowns, your voltages, everything. All right, for those that are really into power supplies, this is this kind of stuff you're going to want to know. It is PCIe 5.0 compatible. So let's get this out of here. Now this just was on there like this and slid off. Now that it's off, so you can see how it's perforated here and it's meant just to pull this off. All right, that is a heck of a box, I'm gonna say. Okay, so it's got this tucked on here for added protection to make sure everything stays good. And so in here is our actual power supply. So let's have a look at it first. And in actual fact, it's not that much bigger than some of the other ones that I've had in the past. But, obviously, it's a little bit longer. And, well, I really like the branding that they put on here. You know, like, it's, it's, it's definitely hefty. I like this, uh, kind of like a carbon silver effect to it. And, of course, the size of the fan in it. That's about a 140, 140 millimeter. Okay, so let's continue on and see what else is important here. So in here we're going to have all our cables. And we have our manual. Okay, and apparently you can come up to a 1600 watt power supply, which is always good to know. Um, if you are building a system that requires that, send me a picture. I'd really like to see it. So we have a power cable, of course, comes with it. Now this, this is a, almost a throwback to an older style that they used to use. The reason it has to be so big is because of the amount of wattage going through it. All right, so this is a little bit of a divergence of uh, the kind of plug-in you normally would have. Of course, this is pretty much the same, but you have to have this. Otherwise, it just, you have to use that cable. That's all there is to it. What else do we have? We have a whole bunch of these. Now, these are um, Velcro straps, so you're using them in your build. We're going to get this open and have a better look at it in a minute, but let's see what else we've got. This is our drive cables are in here. I love how they label everything. That's the one thing I always appreciate. We're going to take our power supply, we're going to put it right in here. Now, a lot of power supplies you are not getting nice braided cables like that. Like those are all nicely braided. I actually even the uh, previous power supplies I've had from Be Quiet were not braided cables. So let's have a check. Oh yeah, you've got everything you're gonna need, like all in one cable. That's impressive, actually. That's your SATA cable. You have a second one. It even gives you a Molex in case you need it. 
Hopefully you don't need it, but you never know. Another SATA. Wow, lots of cables. Another Molex. Wow, they give you a lot of cables that you probably... Some, some that you didn't, you'll need and some that you may not need. And one more. Another SATA. Wow. Oh, I tell you, if you need uh, SATA cables, well, you're all set with this build. And then it has a separated. Those are the drive cables to the main cables. All right? So what we have for main cables? You're going to have your CPU and stuff like that. So this is going to be a CPU. Again, be quiet labels. Everything. You can't go wrong. And a lot of power supplies, that's not a thing. You're looking at it, and some of them will save CPU. Some of them don't. This is this the way it is here. You'll be able to figure it out really easily where you plug it in on here. All right? And it's labeled on here properly. All your drives. All right? You have an overclock. You have your motherboard. All right? A second one for your motherboard. You have two P8 for your CPU. You have your PCIe 5.0. Right, that's right, right here. You have more PCI connectors. All right? So you have two CPU, you have your 24 pin, so everything is covered in here. I'm always impressed by that. And of course you plug in the cables that you need. What else do we have? We have, of course, these are all braided cables. You have your 24 pin, okay, which is going to go in here, obviously. We have another CPU, or is this PCIe? PCIe. Alright, and we have one. Two. two a second CPU so like I said it comes with two which is really all you're ever going to need at this point in time at least and we have more PCIe cables and then of course we have what is the final one here okay so this is your PCIe 5.0 600 watts and you can see how the connectors are alright so and, of course, we had the new 4090s, and, of course, when the 50 series come out, you are going to want all those cables. You're going to want the proper connections. If you get this power supply, you're going to have it. And how better than them separating it for your main cable? Put that down there, and then it tells you that all these other cables that are on top are your drive cables and in case you forget it's labeled really it's foolproof this is a little dirty but that's just probably me so I've gone over this everything I'm gonna put up a little bit of information on the screen so you can read through it see all the specs for it but let's open up our uh, baggie with all our goodies and see what comes in there and of course, like I mentioned, you have your power cable and your manual. All right? These are important things to have. And, well, you're just not going without in this. And of course, with something that's probably going to cost, I'm guessing around $350. Um, maybe it's less, maybe it's more. I really don't know. I'll have to look that up. I'll put it in the video um, that you're watching. I'll put it on the screen so you can see it as I'm filming this right now. Don't get that. So here's some more things that I did not expect. Have you ever seen a power supply before come with cable combs? I've never seen that. Not ever. So you have braided cables and you have cable combs to make them look better. Of course you've got a whole bunch of twist ties. So when you're doing your bed, your build better, you've got all those. They give you specialized connectors for your power so that's pretty slick and a few extra normal ones and I've gone over this from before okay so this is dark power 13 overclocking so you put this in your case and when you you have to turn it off switch it if you want to go into overclock mode and if you don't switch it back off and then switch it again and back and forth I'm not exactly sure why they do that. I, I did reach out and ask them, but they didn't get back to me and tell me exactly why you can't just switch from one to the other, but maybe it's because it's such a huge power load on the system 
that it might cause some issues. And of course, as always, you got be quiet, um, Velcro straps for building your system. That's pretty much it. How you can go wrong with this power supply, can't really say. And it's it's a bit heavy, but really it's not that much bigger. It's really not that much bigger. Well, it should fit in most systems. You've got, of course, where it plugs in, your on-off switch. You have your 110 to 240 volt. All right, so it's automatic automatically switches. Loving it. I'm loving it. So just to go over some of the compatibilities, uh, it will, of course, accommodate the Intel ATX 12 volt 3.0, um, your PCIe 5.0, as you saw, there's two different connector spots there for that. BTX version 1.0A, uh, EATX server dual motherboards via 8-pin connector. Uh, you have an EPS 12-volt version 2.92. Intel C6, C7 status for the new processor generation. Um, this is rated Energy Star 8.0 guidelines and ERP guidelines. Um, they're just some of the things I look for. Other than, of course, all the screws and overclocking key that I don't necessarily always use, but having it there is great. It's just a very nice feature. But the big things I look for, and of course, with power fluctuations these days being what they are, all right, this one covers and has on it the ability to protect itself and your system from overcurrent protection, under voltage, over voltage short circuit safeguards, temperature safeguards, and overload protection. All right, that's pretty much it in a nutshell and everything you would ever want. The warranty on this is pretty good. Uh, let me just see, it's, yeah, this comes with a 10 year, get that? 10 year manufacturer's warranty. It really, uh, 10 years is a long time, folks. You get a system, it's, uh, it's going to do you for a very long time with a very reliable power supply. I'm not just saying that because they gave it to me. I'm saying that because I've used their power supplies in, about, in the past and they worked for me. Okay, so that's a power supply. That's the granddaddy. It's not quite the biggest one they've got. Of course, 1600 watt is the biggest one I think that they have. And I uh, can't really say too much about it other than the one I just did. It has some of the best, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's got all the features I would ever want. Things I've always looked for, the over current, under voltage, over voltage, short circuit, those are important things. Because when you have power companies now that are turning your system off and on and off and on, you need protections in your power supply to protect your system. Without it, your system could be gone. Think about power supplies like this, as just that one thing that you don't think about that you are going to need. So if you like the video, hit that like, give me a big old thumbs up. If you have a comment or a question, put it down in the comments below. Um, if I find anything else I think that should have been added, I'll put it in the description. I'll get it right here. I'll get it in the description of the video. And um, yeah, so if you're new here, think about subscribing, uh, hit that bell for notifications and uh, of course, thanks for watching. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you.